What if I told you that this outlet was a fireplace? Now I know what you're thinking, how can that be? But with Genstone's new Schaefer Fireplace Kit, you can turn any outlet into a full-blown fireplace in just a matter of hours. The great thing about only needing an outlet means you're not only limited to just having a fireplace in your living room, you can put it in the primary suite, the bathroom, really wherever you want a fireplace. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Amanda. Today we're going to show you how to install your Genstone Fireplace Kit. We're going to walk you through every step, starting with framing out your fireplace. Ending with you drinking a hot chocolate in front of your new fireplace. Step one of your install is going to be to build your frame. Yesterday at a separate location, we took the time to build out our frame for this wall. The kit itself is gonna fit any standard ceiling height as well as be 59 inches wide end to end. We would recommend using a combination of both two by fours and two by sixes. Cut four two by fours and four two by sixes to the height of your ceiling. Create your four L-shaped frames with the two by six on the bottom and the two by four attached vertically with the two inch side facing up. Trace the two by four with a marker and place a bead of wood glue along the entire length of the connection. Let the wood glue dry and then secure the connection with fasteners every 16 to 20 inches. The fireplace included in this kit will require a 32 inch opening. Measure, mark, and cut a 32 inch section from a separate 2x4. This section of framing will be what the fireplace box rests on. On this wall already, we've taken the time to mark out our studs with these three lines here. We've uh, roughly measured out our frame here with this side stud wall. And then something else I want to point out is this center line between the windows. So we make sure that we're centered on there, as well as these little marks right here. That's going to be the actual width of our fireplace. One more thing real quick. So you've got a couple options here. Uh, you can either remove the baseboard when you install your kit, or you can leave it. For this one, we're going to start just above the baseboard and continue on to the ceiling. Level and install the four L-shaped frames by attaching the 2x6 part of the L flat against the wall with framing fasteners along the studs you marked on the wall. Level and hammer the 32 inch cross member into place 11 and 1 quarter inches above the start of your first row of genstone. Temporarily insert the firebox into the opening just to make sure that it fits. If you're thinking to yourself that you might want to put like a TV or something that you want to hang on this frame, definitely keep in mind to uh, put some wood up there into your frame so you have the ab ability to do that. And then also measure down from your ceiling so you know where that is once everything's installed. We've inserted three more 32 inch cross members above the fireplace to give us a place to attach the TV at a later time.
All right, so now we've got our area all framed out here. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill it in with the drywall and we're gonna cut it down to the 58 inches that we need here on this section. And then we're gonna go ahead and piece in all the rest. Attach the drywall to the frame with drywall screws along each vertical section of the framing. Now we've got all of our drywall up over our frame here. This is technically optional. We opted to use the drywall because then we don't have to worry about where we're placing the screws in the gen stone. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and get started on attaching the gen stone. So we measured the area here off the wall just to double check and make sure. And what we did is we went ahead and kept five and five eighths here on the corner, cut off the rest, and now it's gonna be perfect we'll begin attaching here. While it is tempting to level with the floor, you need to level with the actual surface and the panels like I'm doing here on your first row to make sure that you're getting started on the right foot. Level and attach the genstone corners and panels with drywall screws along the shiplap edge. You can also place the screws in the shadows of the rocks as needed. Right now I'm going to hide this face screw in the shadow of the rock right here. All right, so we went ahead and measured on this side of our corner as well. Um, it is five and five eighths again that we're gonna be keeping from the corner. You do wanna make sure to measure, measure several spots on your wall just in case your wall isn't true. Now because this panel is gonna be the one that goes directly over top of the fireplace, we're gonna slide that in here and then basically cut out the firebox after we've already installed that panel. So I'm gonna put that in and then level it. Using a handsaw, slowly cut upwards towards the top of the firebox opening. Once you reach the top of the opening, stop and repeat on the other side. Cut two diagonal lines, one from the left and one from the right, that meet at a peak at the top of the firebox opening. Remove this section and then remove the rest of the panel in the opening by cutting horizontally left and right. As you're cutting your genstone, be sure to keep your scrap because in our case, the scrap that we cut off of the outside corners here actually fits perfectly for this little gap that we have before the firebox and I can just basically slide it. Attach the filler pieces with face screws hidden in the shadows of the rocks. Remember that the fireplace has a surround, so it's not necessary to take the stone all the way to the opening. The corner will reach far enough towards the opening, so just line your filler pieces up with the corner. Fill in the gap on the right side of the firebox opening with a piece of scrap from the corners on the right side of the wall, nudge it into place, and secure it with face screws. The 
least five inches on each side of the firebox will be concealed with the glass cover of the fireplace. Secure the firebox in place by placing screws in the pre-drilled holes around the firebox frame. Be sure not to over tighten the screws. Clean any dust from the fireplace screen and place either the faux fire log or clear crystals in the bottom of the firebox. Attach the glass cover with one screw in the upper left and upper right corner of the unit. Press the power button and make sure that everything works as expected. So as you can see, the remainder is obviously not as tall as our panels are, so we cut down our corners and panels to fill that in. Even though there's no shiplap here, you can just drive a couple face screws in here to adhere it to that wall. Measure multiple points of your corner. We recommend the closest point to the wall, the corner of your frame, and where your previous panel ends to assure that you stay level. Also make sure to measure the depth of your corner piece to the wall in case your wall isn't perfectly level. From there, line up your marks using a square or a straight edge, and then make your final cut. Pro tip, you can always shave more material off, but you can't always add it back on. Be sure to keep this in mind when deciding where to cut the pieces. As you can see, all you need is an outlet to take any wall and turn it into a beautiful fireplace. If you have any questions or you want to order a Genstone fireplace kit for yourself, give us a call at the number on screen.